Hey you guys. We're uh, about, uh, I don't know uh, how far we're from Pocatello, maybe 60 miles from Pocatello, Idaho. Somewhere in that range. And uh, tough day of, of driving. We had to stop at about six. We've been getting about maybe 1.6 miles for one percentage of battery charge average. It ranges any, anywhere from 1.3 to 1.7, 1.8 in that range, depending on if you have to go up a lot of hills, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I think we stopped at six different places and uh, pretty much had to stop at these six places. You, but we didn't certainly have to take a full charge or even 90% charge at a lot of these places. You just take it enough to get to the next charge station and that's it. You know, no sense in overcharging your car if you don't have to. I mean, you got to stop anyway. So, you you know, if all you need is give yourself at least 20% cushion in case, in case a headwind comes up or something. But, um, yeah, it was, it was okay. The only big kick in the teeth was the fact that um, you have to unhitch the trailer. I stopped six times, I think. I Five out of six times I had to unhitch the trailer. So that's kind of a beehive of a bitch. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it easier to do it quicker. And when you're backing up and lining up, you can pretty much see it and everything, but it's hard to judge if you're too close or too far away still. Um, but with this setup right here, with this weight, you can see that we've got the bike, 280 pounds, this is 80 pounds. Uh, this trailer weighs probably about 475. This ramp is very heavy. May do something about that. We, may, I, I don't know, man. It's such a, it's a very easy ramp, but it's very heavy. Anyway, I'm gonna make it easier to uh, unhitch the trailer quicker. You gotta have, you wanna, when you unhitch it, you want to have wheel blocks. You know what I'm saying? So that it doesn't roll on you at all. And when it's set up like this, the way I have it set up, counterbalanced a lot of the weight in the back like this, I can actually lift it up. I don't need to have the uh, this uh, jack, uh, I don't know what the hell you call that, tongue jack, you know, for the trailer. I don't really need it because I can lift it up myself quite easily now imagine if you get your dirt your street bike on here now that's 380 pounds okay so that's gonna be it's centered maybe about right here so it does add a lot of tongue weight but when I put that there I put the generator right here so you can counterbalance that I would dare to say even with the street bike I could probably lift the front up end up pretty easy you can move it around at least an inch easily, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, we made it here. We're gonna be at Palisades uh, Lake tomorrow, Palisades Reservoir. There's some good staging areas there and uh, we'll be camping out there and we'll be doing some cooking tomorrow night. Tonight, tonight we just had a sandwich and I uh, was gonna stop and everything, but I was on a roll and I wanted to get this far before the deer start crawling around, you know what I'm saying? Deer on the move and stuff. And I'm, you know, pretty much got here at dusk. So uh, we're just kicking in, having a few beers. And uh, that's it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a great trip so far. It's just that it wears on you when you have to do unhitch that trailer. Ah, and you have to do it five out of six times. Wow. Maybe I could have probably made it uh, four out of six times. If you don't have to do it all the time, it won't be bad. I'm going to let you go for now. I'm going to finish my beer here and uh, just relax. You know, we're going to crash out right here. We're going to head to Pocatello in the morning, get coffee and, and breakfast. Nothing, no sit down breakfast or anything like that. Just, uh, something you can pick up and from maybe I don't know where we'll find out tomorrow gotta go